What's going on everyone, it's Marco Hanna, and 2015 is going to be a very interesting year for wearables, probably the biggest year of wearables to date, and there are a couple reasons for that. One, and is probably the biggest reason, is Apple's Apple Watch, which is going to be a huge thing. I know if you're an Android Wear fan, just bear with me for a moment. The Apple Watch is going to be marketed like crazy to anyone who owns an iPhone, and you should probably know that a lot of people still do own iPhones. It works with the iPhone 5, 5S. 6, 6 Plus, and a lot of people own those devices. And when you have an Apple Watch and all their clever marketing, people are going to buy it and order it and just fall in love with the software and the hardware. And I honestly think Apple will have no problem selling a lot of the sport watches and maybe even a few Apple Watches, which is you know, be more expensive watch around $600 starting off. And I mean, yes, the 18 karat gold is there and it's up to $17,000 and that's a ridiculous amount of money right there. But again, Celebrities are going to buy it and people are going to wear it and people are going to notice it. Now the Apple Watch is going to bring a new level of connectedness to iPhone users and that's also going to be a huge push to the marketing and people who want to buy an Apple Watch. Now let's switch our gears to Android Wear and all of the Android ecosystem with smartwatches. Now last year we saw the conception of Android Wear and honestly it did fairly well for a first generation run. We we're talking about things like the Moto 360, the LG G Watch, we we're also talking about the LG G Watch R, the Urbanite that was just announced at Mobile World Congress, and we saw a lot of really clever stuff. We had things from Samsung, from LG, and also Motorola, and a lot of people did love those watches because, well, they looked really nice, they performed the way that we expected it to, and we really just had a great time using Android Wear. It's a great notification system, it's a great way to stay on top of all of your media and notifications coming into your phone, and it was just really clever and fairly affordable. I mean, we're talking about below $300 for your average Android Wear watch. Now we're taking a look at the second generation of Android Wear, and we're talking about updates to the software, updates to the hardware. As I mentioned, the LG G Watch R Urbanite. We're also talking about things from Huawei, like the Huawei Watch, a new manufacturer making a new watch that looks absolutely stunning. We got a hands-on with that at Mobile World Congress, and honestly, it does look really stunning. Now we're definitely expecting to see better hardware, better screen technology, and also really good designs, and we're probably going to be looking at more OEMs getting into the race. Now, when Google announced Android Wear last year, we were looking at a lot and a long list of OEMs and manufacturers who are going to join, and we're definitely going to see more of these people making these types of watches and even more fashion brands getting involved with the Android Wear development. Now, switching gears even more, now we're going to leave the two main operating systems, which is going to be Apple Watch with iOS or Android Wear. We are taking a look at proprietary software. We're talking about things like the Pebble and the Pebble Time, and we're also talking about fitness bands like the HTC Regrip that was announced at Mobile World Congress along with the HTC One M9. We're definitely going to see more fitness oriented products and things that are going to be very proprietary to the product ecosystem that they come from. Like the HTC Regrip will only work with the HTC One M9 and M8, but hopefully we'll see more things like the Pebble that work cross platforms. All I know is 2015 is going to be a very interesting year for wearables and this is only the beginning of 2015. We definitely have a long time to go to see where all of the hardware and software kind of mesh in later this year. So this is kind of the state of wearables in 2015. It's really interesting, it's going to be very exciting, and a lot of things are going to happen. So definitely stay tuned to this channel because we'll have coverage of almost every single smartwatch that will be announced and released in 2015. We'll also have head-to-heads. And we're probably going to have another video like this later on this year, taking a look at the state of wearables at that time. So as always, my name is Marco Hanna. Make sure to leave me a like below and also a comment if you have something to say about anything that we talked about. And as always, my name is Marco Marco Hanna, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.